Hey everyone, welcome back to the Two Guys in a Garden channel. We hope you have all had a wonderful winter season. I don't know about you, but we are ready for spring. We are just about 10 weeks away from our last frost currently, so it's time to get planning for this year's garden. While preparing for this year's garden, we ran across a program called Seed Time. We are in no way affiliated with Seed Time and we are not being paid to advertise. This is a program that is still in a beta version and allowing free limited accounts at this time. Overall, I like the program. It is something you could do on your own if you had the patience and time, but the ease of just entering a crop and having it automated for the whole season for you is pretty convenient. I'll add a link to the program in the description below. So this is what the program looks like. I've already entered majority of the crops for our garden this season, but I'll run you through a quick tutorial. Overall, the program is pretty easy to use. Up in the top left, you can name your calendar. If you use the paid version, you can have multiple calendars. It also gives you your growing season based off of the times you enter for your frost dates. So let's add a crop. You start by clicking on the green Add a Crop button. In the category, you put what category you want for which crop. I'm going to be adding marigolds, which I companion plant with our tomatoes. Under crop variety is where you'll choose the variety of marigold that you'd like. I'm using Cracker Jack. Below that, there's an optional area for an additional label if you choose. You can also customize the color of the plant to be represented in the program. Under advanced settings, you'll see the area for schedule, plant, and harvest. Under schedule, mine is going to be set to the relative frost. Your relative frost dates in this section are going to be based off of what frost date you set in the settings. Under seeding date, you can choose how many weeks before last frost you would like to seed the plant. In the plant section, under planting method, you can choose whether you're going to transplant or direct seed. Below that, it'll show in days and when your plant will be ready to be transplanted. Another nice feature under harvest is it'll show you when your plants will be mature and the harvest window for all of your plants. If you're going to be succession planting, it also gives you the weeks in between succession. So once you're done, you hit schedule and you wait a second and it'll pop in on the left hand column. Once it pops in on the left hand column, you'll be able to scroll down and see where and when you can plant, transplant, or harvest your seeds. Overall, I like the program and it's worth giving it a try. So here's some of the newer varieties we're going to try in the garden this year. Uh, we'll start with some lettuce. This is a, a free variety uh, for low from Baker Creek we received in one of our orders. Uh, we're also going to try some sorrel. We're going to do some Chinese broccoli this year to see how that turns out. Uh, I'm excited for this one. I've never grown rhubarb, but we are going to try and start us some rhubarb this year. Uh, a new cucumber that we're adding uh, this year, I did say that we're, we took away some of this uh, salad slicing type cucumbers. We're adding another variety of uh, pickling cucumber, uh, early fortune. On the pepper side, uh, we're going to add uh, some uh, Thai red chili peppers. We have some early girl small watermelons, we're really excited to try those. Uh, some of the tomatoes, uh, we're going to try a terracotta uh, tomato that we also received free through our uh, Baker Creek order. Uh, we're going to try some tomatillos this year. And I'm really excited about this one. Uh, we're going to try and grow some garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Um, they're super, super healthy for you, high in protein. Uh, and we're going to try and see what kind of uh, yield we can get out up here in, in the northern climate. So those are some of the new varieties that we're going to be trying for the 2023 growing season. Alright, and with that it's time to get the grow room all cleaned and ready to go for this spring. For our grow room, we use a room in the basement that we also use to store our food when we harvest it in the fall. Uh, we do have some stuff still left over, some onions, pumpkins, and butternut squash. We also have some canned stuff that we still have left over from last season. Thank you. 
Today is March 1st and it is 60 degrees so I decided to go outside and do some cleaning in the garden. Our beds are all covered with mulch leaves from last year which will get tilled in. Our garlic is already starting to show signs of life. This was our first year for garlic in the beds. We planted over 120 cloves. With germination rates looking this good in early March, we are bound to have a great harvest. And the garlic isn't the only thing in the garden showing signs of life. We have so many great things planned for our garden this year. We hope you join us. Please hit the like and subscribe button to our channel and we'll see you soon. Oh, and by the way, we added a new gardener to the family this year.